So it is Friday, February 10th, 2017, and this is the first day of Pirate Jam here on Lanta Island in Thailand. Myself, Liz, and Jamie just came ashore, and about an hour from now, we're going to meet our six guests who are going to join us for about a week of sailing, swimming, maybe some diving, fishing, and also making games. So before we go to pick up the guests, we're actually sitting down to run through an agenda for introducing them to the jam and to the boats and to the schedule uh, concepts like weather, being on the dinghies, things like that. So there's actually quite a lot of prep um, and explanation we need to do before uh, the jam actually begins. So I actually had all of our guests uh, get together a little bit further down the street because we thought we were going to do the startup event down here, but it turns out that this other location is a little bit better, so I've got to go walk down, grab them, and then walk them back. Hello! Hey! How's it going? How's it going? Uh -huh. So we found three of our guests, but we're also missing three of our guests. So take these guys back and then uh, see if we can find the other three. All right, so we found our other three guests. They were hiding out down there at the old times, and now I've got them here. They're gonna grab some drinks, and we're gonna go upstairs and get started. My cup, makeup, hair. Well, first off, I just want to say thank you. So you're gonna have wind blowing us offshore which is exactly what we want um, it's going to start picking up but uh, that's going to be for sailing first thing we're going to do is get to the dinghy get to the dinghy it's going to be quite easy you can get your gear if you don't have anything to do that you can do that Obviously when we return to the boat, we've just done a had a little chat and we're now about to go back to the dinghies because it's high water. We figured it's a good time to get all the gear on the boat, introduce the guys to the boats, uh, get them settled in and then we're going to come back to shore for the afternoon. So we've just brought uh, the three guys that are going to be on my boat. That's uh, Danny, Evan, and Tuck. And um, they are already starting to jam. They're already starting to brainstorm. So uh, we've got the theme of impermanence for this jam. And so they're now talking about the meaning of impermanence and um, how they might integrate that into a game. So just tell us uh, your name, where you're from, and what your story is. So um, I'm Tuck Abbott from Seattle, Washington. Uh, I'm a technical artist currently working at Turn 10 Studios, the makers of Forza Motorsport and the Forza Horizon series. Um, I got into game development at a very early age playing Donkey Kong Country on a Super Nintendo. Um, decided I wanted to do that and then uh, was lucky enough to have my middle school and high school have an animation program, so I got involved super early in all of that. Uh, then went to school at Drexel University, um, studied in digital media, so web design, film, game design, uh, everything along those lines. And after graduating there, I started working at Microsoft Studios, where I've just been making games ever since. Uh, this is going to be like my fifth game jam. Uh, I've done a few of them around different places around the U.S. This is my first one in an exotic location, so looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting together with a, a whole bunch of other developers that I've just met and making some, some cool products. Uh, my name is Danny Day. I run a company called QCF Design down in Cape Town, South Africa. It's our 10th year of existence now. I accidentally started a game development uh, community in South Africa in 2005, turned that into a career somehow. 2011 we won an IGF award for Desktop Dungeons, finished the game in 2015 and now I'm making other things. Uh, really excited to jam, really excited to be on a boat, really excited to explore Thailand. Wow. Okay, uh, my name is Evan Greenwood, come from Cape Town, South Africa. I work, uh, we made a game called Broforce, working on a game about penises that penetrate each other and it's also about consent, it's also about kind of a anal sex positive game. Um, and both of these games came, came out of game jams. So, being you know, game jams are a thing we do. It's a way we find good game ideas. It's an environment I think is very conducive to creativity, to making awesome stuff. And coming to Thailand was like obviously an awesome opportunity. And like 
you know, frankly, also getting a chance to, you know, do something alongside American McGee was very exciting. Um, and yeah, I heard about it and just thought, that sounds awesome. I want to be on a boat. I want to make games. Um, it's something we'd kind of, we'd done a bit of our own like island game jamming uh, recently. And like that really, that worked out brilliantly. Thailand, uh, just like a fantastic opportunity. So yeah, I'm already excited about making a game here. Really got an uh, idea I think is awesome. The theme is going to be super great. Uh, I think a lot of good games are going to come out of this. And yeah. Awesome to be here. Okay, so you've met three out of the six jammers. Tomorrow you're going to meet the other three. More importantly, tomorrow we're actually going to set sail and we're going to start jamming proper. <laughs>